What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Joshua back with another video. It feels like it's been forever. Well, hey, Eli with Carl's Bait and Tackle by Catch Co. reached out via email and said, hey Josh, we want to send you some things in the box to unbox. We got some new lures that we want to feature and I'm anxious to get in here to see what we got. It's a little chilly out here, but overall a very beautiful day down in uh, central Florida, so to speak. So let's jump in, guys. We're gonna take a closer look, see what kind of goodies we got. All right, so I have everything laid out here. I went ahead and did it a little different. Instead of unboxing everything, we're gonna throw it out, throw it back in the box after we look at it and uh, talk about it a little bit. So Salt Native is brand new, like I said, to Catch Co. It is one of their new saltwater lines and it's pretty cool guys they're trying to jump into this area i mean they've been into the freshwater scene for some time so they're just trying to expand their presence there's a lot of saltwater guys that uh i think would appreciate this so some of the cool lures that i thought were really interesting in this particular box um check out these you got the shimmer swimmer there's a lot of detail on the sides it has a reflective strobe down here in the belly of the bait that's going to refract light um, it has an awesome little tail here, paddle tail. This is going to displace water, create some vibration to trigger those strikes. Small profile for the winter time, uh, perfect size. And guys, the black eyes, I love this particular color for snook. For some reason, they gravitate towards that silver and purple. I don't know if it just looks more black or what it is, maybe a small mullet. But this is going to be a good little uh, lure that you can use as a trailer. You can rig it to a jig head or even Texas rig it. And it's going to be very effective for them inshore species. Here, guys, we have the Exoswim 4-inch. This is by Biospawn. I thought these were really cool. Let me see if I can get one of them to open here. They have a nice texture to them, but they also have a really good scent. It's almost like a garlic scent. Does it say actually what's on here? It's definitely garlic. So it has the pearl flash, the big old tail on here, paddle tail, and it's it has this really neat texture to it that I imagine would swim really well through the water. Definitely a little different than your regular smooth swim baits or paddle tails. So I'm anxious to try this. I've actually never used the Biospawn um, the exo swim so this is something that's going to be new to me and again i'm going to be rigging this to show you guys how to rig it uh the soft plastic in the next video so stay tuned salt native beast walkers if you're not familiar with how catch co usually works or mystery tackle box they typically like to partner up with different creators and make baits in this particular instance guys these are some huge top water walking baits and these are massive but uh, Lawson Lindsay, you may have seen his videos, uh, they, they got with him and made these big old poppers because he catches a lot of large snook and jacks in his backyard. So this is a great lure for um, his style of fishing. And again, these are really, really big top water plugs. They got some extra heavy duty hooks. The packaging's real nice. You can even see it, it says Lawson Lindsay on there. And again, this is the Beast Walker. The white body with red head is always popular, especially for big snook. And then this is a more natural presentation with the green and reflective body. So very, very nice uh, in the design wise. I like this guys, this is the Triton uh, by um, Mike Bukas, Bull Shad. So this is a nice little swim bait. I have never used this lure guys, so this is going to be a first for me. I want to pull it out of here and take a closer look at it. It's a 3.75 inch or a 3 quarter inch bait. Now this is a slow sinking bait and it also has some nice trebles on here. It's got a really cool movement and then what was neat is this is a soft tail. I don't think I've quite seen that before. It's got like uh, you know the synthetic texture there. and again pearl color so you you know that that that's going to produce but i imagine you could catch a lot of things including snook and bass and freshwater on this slow sinking swim bait what do you guys think about that comment below look at that nice eye the big black dot looks reminds me of like a um, small little pogey or menhaden we got two different spoons here they're casting spoons by lawson Lindsay and catch co 
Now you got the gold and you got the silver. These are a lot heavier duty spoons than what I would typically throw for like a redfish. Um, usually where I like to use these are for like uh, jigging for Spanish mackerel and things like that. However, they will catch uh, redfish. Real heavy duty spoon. This is a one ounce and then this is a three quarter ounce. So if you're wanting to fish deeper water, uh, deeper segments of water, you may want to go with that one ounce, maybe inshore you go with a three quarter or a half ounce. But this is a two and a half inch spoon. This is a two and uh, three quarter inch spoon. So pretty cool guys. We'll have to test these out, see what all we could catch on them. Let me know uh, below what your favorite spoons to use are. These particular uh, soft plastics really looked interesting to me. They're called the Eliminator uh, by Game Changer Lures. And the reason I say interesting is because they remind me of a spoon. Now again, these are soft plastics. They remind me of a spoon, but then they also have this grub tail. So if you look at that, it looks very similar to a spoon. And then this is that blue pearl, black, uh, black flakes. And then you get, so you get the, probably the same, I imagine the same type of action as the spoon as it uh, descends, but then you also get the vibration of the tail. So we'll have to pull test that and check it out, but this is gonna catch fish, I can already tell you, and it's just very unique in the sense that I haven't really seen any other saw plastic quite like it. The Mad Minnow, guys, by Salt Native, dives three to five feet, great to fish. Um, I mean, you could fish this in all different water depths and you could twitch it, you could slow swim it, slow roll it, however you wanna say, and this is a, a good resemblance of like a greenback or a thread fin, a white bait of some sort. It's got a white belly, black back, blue sheen on the sides. And then the red eye that shows distress. I got a very obnoxious bird right behind me here. I guess he wants to take a bite of the mad minnow. But the red eye for distress, it's got a nice shallow lip, but really thick gauge hooks, guys. And I do mean thick. So. I imagine those aren't gonna straighten out or give on you, and they're gonna allow you to catch that big one, put the big fish in the boat. <laughs> Last but not least, by Biospawn Exo Swim, uh, three and a quarter inch. Now, very good color. Again, more of a darker color. You got that watermelon slash goldish uh, tinge to it, and then you have the little blue and black flake. Those are always good, and for both freshwater and salt, just more of a natural color guys and some reason the redfish love them they even got a little purple flake in them actually now that i'm looking at them slimy little fella but it's got your normal round tail it's got the little slot right here in the back and it's also got a slot on the underbelly so you can rig it either way uh also has a, a nice little head for your jig head S smaller profile bait and it's got that textured rib body so i imagine it's got an awesome swim a matter of fact let's throw it around here it's low tide right now let's see if we can't uh drum up a bite all right so i got me a little exo swim here i'm gonna take my jig head run it right through the nose and then right when you it starts to uh, curve like that you want to pull it out that little slot in the back and then you just push the barb or the plastic up on the barb and make sure that runs completely true Look at that. He came up and ate it. I got him. He's a little bitty guy. So guys, this is the first time using this little bio spawn right off the dock. As you can tell, this is the second snook I hooked. There's a couple of jacks down there that have been chasing it, but the bait is a little too big for them because they're on the small side. But take a look at that. It's got that nice scent. It's got that blue blue sparkle beautiful color it matches the water kind of just let him go let him grow what you want help whoa whoa you gonna try to you gonna try to eat him dude he's too big for you he'll try to eat him i was gonna ask him how he felt about that 
Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode here with Shop Carl's, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. It was definitely some interesting stuff. The new Salt Native uh, lures were pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts below. Comment down below, give a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. Hey, do you guys want to see some type of competitive challenge between Chris and I? Let me know. Till next time, we'll see you on the water.